Hello YouTube, today I'll be giving a review on the Smart Fountain Pen. So this fountain pen, if you can see, has an emblem here, and that signifies the Smart Car. See that? Yep, there you go. The Smart Car um, emblem. So that therefore this is the Smart Car matching fountain pen. So as you can see, it's shaped pretty normally it's a relatively small pen um, just to give you a reference to how small the pen is I will be showing you a Lamy Safari here Lamy Safari is about this size spin this around Lamy Lamy whatever you would like to pronounce it and here is the smart car pen. So it's not extremely smaller, but maybe about a half an inch smaller. When uncapped, the pens are once again about an inch, a half an inch smaller than each other. Yes. So, now you can kind of get a, a an idea about the size of this pen. As you can see, the it's black, the majority of the pen is black with a very long and and interesting clip here that's attached to the silver cap, and you have this metal silver ring down here that does not come off. So, let's talk about this clip and cap situation. This clip is ridiculously long. It's almost twice the size of the cap. Almost, not quite. And this really works for holding a business card. And I will give you an example. This is not technically a business card, but it is the size of a business card. So when you put the card in, it perf the business card perfectly fits within the clip so I think that was kind of the purpose of the clip being that long so that's kind of the clip and the clip and the cap as you can see inside you have an inner plastic cap with a metal screw it looks like at the bottom so now let's get to the nib the nib is just a stainless steel nib sorry about the glare Hold on. Nothing really flashy. Um, right now I have black ink in it. That's why you can kind of see that uh, residue. And you still have the Smart Car um, logo here. Right here. Right, sorry. Right here on that band. Right there. So then let's get into the actual insides of the pen. This pen is metal once again, so it's not eye droppable but I would say that it's a solid piece so you could have eye dropped it if it was plastic or something like along those lines so here it's kinda unique you have your ink your ink cartridge which is actually not a standard um, ink cartridge because how short the actual tip is, usually a standard can a standard cartridge is a little bit longer here, so that prevents you from using some of those standard um, converters. But this is the unique part right here is like a protector for the um, feed system. Unfortunately, the feed does not come out. I don't want to try any harder than I just did. So in and also back to this random cap protector thing, it's just a solid a little hole. And there's threads on the inside where it just screws back into place. I guess it kind of protects your ink cartridge from getting loose and moving around much. But I haven't quite figured out a converter that works for this pen, so I'm still on the hunt for that. But that's just kind of the inside workings of the pen. This 
pen is also, I mean, I think it's a medium nib. I just want to do a little, little test over here. And yeah, I would say that's a medium nib for the most part. Medium nib. So now I want to give you a short, quick um, writing sample so you can see how well this pen writes. Personally, I was slightly disappointed and I kind of bought this pen not on the fact that it was a car pen as in a a car branded pen. I bought it for its writing capabilities and it's and I kind of bought it for its uniqueness because not many people can say their clip is this long. But um I was a little disappointed on how well it wrote. So let me just show you let me just give you a quick writing sample. So the main issue with this pen is it's startup. I kind of started up already, so let me just do another little test. Yes. Also, another main issue would be feedback. As you probably heard, there is quite a bit of feedback. Also, a last thing that's kind of disappointing with this pen would be its uh, smoothness. I would have expected it to be a little bit more smooth, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. You're buying it for the brand smart, not necessarily for uh, uh, quality. Oh, spelling error. Quality. I think I forgot to mention this, but I think this is very. This is worth mentioning. This pen is not a light pen, to say the least. It's pretty heavy. It's the heaviest pen I own. If you listen to it, this is a wood table I'm writing on, and that kind of has some some weight to it. Unlike if we had a Lamy, hear how howl that sounds, how light, light and sound quality, if you can say. This thing is pretty, pretty massive and pretty heavy. So this, that's another reason why I feel like this pen is more of a of a signature pen rather than a pen you would use to write long, long manuscripts or even take notes. It's kind of difficult to take notes with since it's so small. You kind of have to have it posted. Having it posted adds more weight, makes it a little bit I mean, I don't want to say top heavy because this technically is the top. So back heavy here. So, I mean, it's really just quickly to sign your name. In this case, Candy215. So I hope you enjoyed my my review. And please like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews, more things you like to see on my channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.